today we're going to work on installing two different kinds of bulkhead connectors. One is attached using four little socket head cap screws that go through a panel and either tap into the panel or they go through and you put nuts on the back side. And also, this is a style of bulkhead connector which attaches with a nut that threads onto the back. So we're going to do that one too. And all three of these start with a 7 eighths of an inch hole drilled through the panel that we want to install them in. So first we're going to install those holes. Let's put those holes about two inches apart. Now we'll use a spade drill bit, a 7 8 inch spade drill bit to drill through. The material that I'm drilling through is Lexan, which is pretty tough, so I'm going to go from both ends. use a deburring tool to clean up the edges of these holes. Now I'm going to test the hole sizes with our tool and that tool does fit through all three holes. The first connector we're going to install is one of these connectors that has the four screws and we're going to do the one that goes through the panel and attaches with nuts. So we're going to use this tool, this installation tool, with the larger hole size in it because this hole size is sized for a drill bit that is a through hole drill bit for an M4 metric four millimeter screw. template tool to lay on top and we'll start by drilling the first hole there. and then we'll take a screw and drop it in place to locate that hole. Now that that tool is fixed in place we can do the other three. same thing except that this time we're going to use a tap drill which is smaller and when we do this one we won't be able to put a screw in to lock it in place so I'm gonna to have to hold it so we're gonna take our tool set it in place to do this without moving the tool. Okay. So these are our tap holes and now we can tap them using an M4 tap. And you can either do this by hand or you can use a drill run at slow speed. You just have to be real careful to put these holes in very straight. Alright, now that these holes are in the panel, we can 
install the connectors in, but before that, I'm going to take off this plastic coating so that you can see a little bit better. Stuff will peel right off now that we're done using it to mark out the holes. So let's put in the bulkhead connector first that goes into the tapped holes. So our tapped holes are over on this side and we can take the connector and set it in place like that. And socket head cap screws. I'll put in first the two uh, corner locations that are free from obstruction. So there's the, the little groove here. So you can put these in here real easy, they go right into place. And then the other two corners, you just kind of have to wiggle them, wiggle them into place. They're blocked just a tiny bit. So those go in, like that. And now we can tighten these down to compress the gasket. Like that. And there. So that is the first connector style. And now the next one over here is where we have the holes that are through holes. So we can use socketed cap screws and nuts. And the socketed cap screws in this location need to be a little bit longer to go through so that there is enough uh, screw engagement sticking through for the nuts to bite into. So we'll do the same thing. We'll put in the, the easy corners first. So that goes through. Put a nut on the other side. There we go. And then we'll do the other one. Put a nut on the other side. Like that. Now we'll wiggle in the ones that are right here. Help the wrench. There, that pops it through. And the nut on the other side. side and then once that those are in there hand tight you could use a wrench or needle nose or something and grab the other sides of those nuts to tighten them down I'm not gonna tighten them down super hard but just do them finger tight okay so those are the two bulkhead styles with the fasteners in the corner then we've got the other bulkhead style that goes in with the big nut on the back and then it's got a couple of seals for either side. Um, you could probably put this in with just the seal on the outside because that's how the gland nuts are designed. A, a gland nut like this it only has a seal um, on the outside and then the nut just goes up against the bulkhead. So you could do that. Um, the, other, the other seal just gives you a little bit of extra waterproof tightness. Um, so you would feed your cord through, then that goes on like that, drop in the, the backside seal and the backside nut, like that, and then that tightens down in place. Um, and I even designed up a little wrench tool that you could use if you were coming into a box that already had the stuff wired up, you could come through like that and then use it to use it to tighten down that nut real real good. So now that is nice and tight. So if you wanted to go from, let's say, your battery to a box with your PWM in it, you could take your connector, um, put together the electrical connectors first, then uh, push it closed and click that in place, and now you've got a watertight connection into a box. And when you take this connector off, now you unplug that and you want to make sure that no water goes through this connector into your box. 
you can replace the cable connector with a cap the same way and now that is sealed up. No water can get through this boot into the inside of your box.